Well, we've heard a lot of inspirational stories from Haiti, and this one is right up there, top of the list. A violinist trapped under the rubble of his music school, humming concertos just to stay alive. Our John Zarella actually got to meet him in a Miami hospital and brings us his remarkable story. Hey, John. Hi, Kira. That's right. Ramel Joseph, he's not only blind, but he is a world-class violinist, and he spent a day and a half buried in the rubble in Haiti. He's recovering at a hospital at Jackson, at Jackson Memorial Hospital here in Miami right now. When I spoke to him yesterday, Ramel told me people survive these kinds of events in all kinds of different ways. His was through music. Middle school students came to the hospital to play. They sensed music could ease his pain. Ramel Joseph's fingers on his left hand are shattered, his legs crushed. His grave is what he calls the rubble where he was entombed. When the quake hit, he was on the third floor. Suddenly, there was no floor. I was just lying there very peacefully down there and um, like, wait, what happened? Okay, I always have bad dreams. Let me wake up. And then I was trying to wake up and I couldn't wake up. And it's like, I guess it's real life. Almost completely blind, Joseph, a renowned violinist, lay buried here in the fractured concrete. All that is left of his new Victorian school, where Haitian children learned the joy of classical music. None were there that Tuesday afternoon, but for 18 hours, Joseph lay pinned. He talked first to God. If you hear, I'm really hot, I need some cool air. And believe it, the next thing I know, there's a cool air that got in. Then he turned to music. As if detaching his mind from his broken body, Joseph began recounting every violin concerto he had ever performed. He could see the moment, every symphony hall, every auditorium. Walking on stage, everyone there, full hall, and you start playing. First, Tchaikovsky. Each hour he picked another. The longer, the better. I know I picked the Brahms, I picked the Frank, I picked the Sibelius. I picked several. One I guess each. it's a good thing that you knew a lot. Yes, <laughs> I know a lot of concertos for, for violin. It's a good thing. And I look for the long one. Hey, his spirits are just unbelievably high. Surprisingly, considering what he's been through. It was Thursday after the quake when Victoria found out her dad was alive. Victoria's stepmother has not been found. He's definitely not dealing with it until he sees firsthand whether or not, because part of him truly believes that she still might be out there. Doctors are not sure Joseph will ever be able to play his violin again. He says he will. I have to play so that they can hear what I want them to play. How else can he teach the children when he rebuilds? Romel was telling me that he's got, and showing me, he's got feeling cure in his fingers on his left hand, so he's pretty convinced that he'll play again, but he, he really wants a keyboard so that he can start to exercise those fingers, and, you know, he's going to be in the hospital for another couple weeks at least, several more surgeries to go, uh, and again, he's sure looking to get his hands on a keyboard so he can exercise those brilliant well, fingers he has. I, I tell you what, you told me about that, and as you know, I was very touched by Rommel's story. John, uh, hold on just a second, uh, because I do have a, a bit of a surprise here that came uh, through at the last minute. Uh, Rommel uh, Joseph uh, joining me live now from the hospital. Rommel, how are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. Bless your heart. You really, uh, you went through a lot, and, uh, you know, I heard uh, that you wanted a keyboard, and I have a special surprise for you. Are you a fan of Stevie Wonder? <laughs> yes. Um, I like him. <laughs> I know I love his music. <laughs> yes, and you do? His, you know, his music is, I'm glad I'm not a singer because I could sing. The music he wrote because they are very challenging, if I would say for any singer, but... I love to hear his music. I know you do, and that's why we have arranged something special for you. Joining us now, uh, music great and the UN's messenger of speed, uh, peace, Stevie Wonder. Stevie, I understand you have a surprise uh, for Mr. Rommel. Isn't that true? Man, yeah, what's up? Hello? Hey, I'm fine. Um, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yes, I wanted to sir, say I'm really fine. 
you know, God is mighty, and so I'm really excited to know that your spirits are high. And so what I have for you is a Motif 88 uh, no, key, keyboard. <laughs> and I'll get it to you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you yeah. so very much. Because we know you're going to play. Um, because I can... Yes, I play the keyboard, too, because I make musical arrangements. But I, um, that is so wonderful and so exciting because... I can't put my arm on the position of performing on the violin, but the keyboard, I can do all my hand on exercises and little Pishna exercises so that the finger starts being active. You know what we're going to do, do actually? What we're going to do actually, we're going to give you two keyboards. I'm going <laughs> to give you uh, the motif, my motif that I have. I'm sending you my personal one. And uh, I was just given a, I was given a, um, the new uh, Yamaha, no, I'm sorry, the new uh, keyboard, keyboard by Kurzweil. Um, and I'm going to give you that as well. Because they say, as you know, in the African proverb, wow. anything that's special to you, um, it really is special, you passed it on. So I'll give you my keyboard that I've used um, a lot when I did songs for A Time to Love. And I'll give you the new keyboard wow. that I just got, which is the... Uh, the keyboard, that, uh, the Kurzweil keyboard. And um, I look forward to hearing you play violin as soon as your fingers get stronger, because I know you will play again. Yes, I'm, I'm confident I will play because I was told um, it, during my fascinating conversation under the ground with Jesus, which people may find strange, but you know, in, sometimes you are in a situation for a specific reason. Yeah. And I was, I was assured that I would be able to play the violin again. Well, you will be. I saw my hand in that condition. Well, so I look forward to. I will. I look, uh, I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to uh, hearing you play, and um, my prayers go out to you and, and all the families and people in Haiti. And um, we're gonna we're gonna know that all oh, all things happen. Um, even those things that are bad, we can turn them into good. And as you know, so many millions of people yeah. gave and came out uh, just in, in making sure that we don't just talk about it, but that we do about it. And so many people have done about it by their donations and contributions. So we're excited. We're excited for you and, and others that are alive. Mm. Stevie Wonder. Uh, well, I would like to say, go I would ahead, like to go say ahead, thank you to you. And yes. I would like to feel that I'm honored that I'll be playing on a keyboard that you play. And I would like to also say thank you to CNN and, you know, to you and to all those who care about the situation in Haiti and the situation, the, the, all, all of us survivors, I call earthquake survivors, who will be working towards improving lives in Haiti. Amen. Uh, Ramel, we, uh, we lift you up and your strength. And uh, Stevie, thank you so much. As, as you probably heard in the piece, Ramel is uh, Juilliard trained. Um, he went back to Haiti to start a music school for kids uh, that, that can't afford it. And he's brought music uh, to so many people there in Haiti and has uh, just become an inc incredible mentor just like you. And thank you so much for uh, donating your keyboards to him. And I believe this. I know both of you are big believers. And uh, he's going to make beautiful music again, not only with your keyboards, but with the violin. Well, thank, thank you, and thanks, CNN, for just bringing this information to the world. And, um, you know, it's all good. It is. I'll see you soon, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Phillips. Mr. Our Joseph. Yes, I hope to see you. I hope to, I hope to meet you soon, too. And it'll be a pleasure for wonderful musicians with great hearts to meet. Yeah. Stevie Wonder and Ramel Joseph. I love it. We'll all make beautiful music together. Bless you both.